Hey there, it's me. Uh, we're going to talk on Tip Tuesday about commission. I know it's kind of a touchy subject. What do you make? How do you make it? What do you do? And I've been asked more than once in the last week to take a 1% commission to list someone's home. And my answer to that is no. Okay, to keep things simple, we're going to talk about 6% commission. Sometimes it's high, sometimes it's low, but we're going to go with 6 for my picture because 3% is going to go to the cooperating broker the buyer's agent and the buyer's broker. And then the other 3% goes to the selling agent and the selling broker. But wait, there's more. Okay, so then after we have the 3% to the buyer's broker, then we have the 3% for Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam's gonna take his money always. Then I have to pay to be a part of an office and be on a team. That's the other money. Okay, so in our example of taking a 1% commission versus a 6% commission, in our example, we use 6%. We've got the cooperating broker, we've got Uncle Sam, we've got the cost of me doing business under a brokerage because I have to have my license hung somewhere and I'm on a team. So those are the costs of me doing business. Then we're left with this 1% and that's what I use to market your home, pay for the ads, um, get it on Instagram, get it out on YouTube, get it everywhere for everybody to see, pay for the MLS, pay for the sign, pay for all the things and get your home sold and negotiate your offer. So if I don't negotiate for myself to have a 3% commission, if we're going to do 6% total, I get three. And what happens with that three, then how will I ever negotiate for your home to be sold effectively if I can't even negotiate for me and my business? So that's something to think about. I love that I was even um, in the realm of having the conversation of what is your commission, but no, I'm not going to take your home for 1% and um, I value you and I value myself and my business way too much to do that. But that is your tip Tuesday.